everyone, my name is Melina and I'm a student at the University of Toronto and today you will become a secret agent by writing invisible messages. By following two different methods using household items, we will be creating invisible ink. These are the materials you will need for method one of this experiment. Pour some lemon juice into a small bowl. Dip a cotton swab into the lemon juice and use it to write a secret message onto the white paper. Allow the paper to dry and the lemon juice to become invisible. Reveal your secret message by running a hot iron over it for a few minutes. Make sure you have a parent or guardian's assistance with the iron. Lemon juice contains something called citric acid. When you write on the paper with lemon juice, the water evaporates and leaves behind the citric acid, which reacts with the paper fibers. This weakens the fibers within the paper and they start to break down. As a result of the broken down fibers, when an external heat source is applied, like the iron, these areas of the paper burn much more rapidly than the untreated paper, revealing the initial message that you would have written down as brown areas on the paper. This is an irreversible process since once the paper has been burned, it cannot be undone, so the ink will no longer be invisible. In real life, citric acid has many applications, such as for detergent manufacturing, food preservation, and as a flavoring agent. Now on to method two. These are the materials you will need for method two of this experiment. Mix one tablespoon of baking soda with one tablespoon of water in a small bowl. Dip a cotton swab into the mixture and use it to write a secret message onto the white paper. Let the paper dry completely and remove any excess baking soda. Mix a half teaspoon of turmeric and three tablespoons of rubbing alcohol to create a solution in a small bowl. Paint the paper with the turmeric solution to reveal the invisible ink. soda gets absorbed by the paper similarly to the lemon juice, and once dried, it isn't visible anymore. When you painted the paper with the turmeric solution, you would have seen the ink turn red. This is because turmeric is a pH indicator, meaning it changes color depending on if it's in an acidic or basic environment to show us what pH a substance is. When it comes in contact with an alkaline or basic substance, such as the baking soda on the paper, it turns from yellow to a deep red. Similar reactions will occur with concentrated grape juice and other acidic solutions like blueberry juice or hibiscus tea when reacting with the baking soda. pH indicators are used in many situations, including for measuring the pH of farm soil, shampoos, fruit juices, and bodies of water. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to try this experiment at home and tag Pueblo Science in your experimental results. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more content. And comment down below what you would like us to cover next.